This is a how-to on taking off the front wheel of a uh, Honda NHX 110, also known as Elite 110 or the Elite 110, depending on which country you're in. All right. So what you need is a 19 millimeter wrench, so not on this side, and a 14 millimeter, uh, excuse me, 19 millimeter socket, 14 millimeter socket for the other side. I have two uh, two uh, wrenches here. Also. It'll be handy to have a, uh, a, a jack as well. So I'm at about, oh, I think nine and a half thousand miles. And my tires are, you know, getting close to being bald. I could probably go maybe another 500 miles before my tire is completely bald. But, uh, but the wear indicator. I reached the wear indicator. I think around, uh, I think around 8,500 miles or or 9,000 miles. I forget somewhere in that range is when I reached the wear indicator. So so I wanted to go until the tire was bald, but it started raining uh, just yesterday actually. So you know can't risk losing losing the front end. So I have to put out a new tire. And the bad thing about about this bike is that it uses really odd ball size. It's a 90-90-12, which is at least in the, here in the U.S. is really difficult to find. So um, I was fortunately that I was able to get one. Actually, I have two two spare tires. This is a Kenda Kenda brand, and it's a 90-90-12. The original brand is was a Chinsing, which is you know is a Chinese uh, tire. Actually, this is also made in China as well. And from the looks of it, it might be it might be the same tire almost. No, actually, no, they're not. The thread is actually different. Very similar thread though. Okay, so I got the nut off. Uh, this is where you should jack the the front end up. And it doesn't need to be jacked up very high. It's like an inch or so, it should be plenty. Okay, push the uh, axle out. I look at check out your axle. I'm looking straight down the axle while I'm spinning it. Usually you can see if it's uh, bent or not. This one looks okay. Everything's still clean. Sometimes you would want to lube this a little bit. Uh, in this particular place, since it looks fine, I'm not going to lube it. I'm just going to leave it as, as is when, when I put it back on. Once that drops down, um, the thing you have to consider is the. Uh, oops. Oh, let, let me switch this around. The thing that you have to consider is the speedometer right here. So be careful with that. All right, that should pop right out. Okay. Underneath, you see it. You know, it's pretty clean underneath that. You see the bearings actually, right in there. Oh, nice Japanese bearings. So not everything on this bike is made in China, huh? Okay. So now I just bring my wheel out, and that's basically how you take off the front wheel. Pretty simple, huh? Thank you.